all right my people welcome back on to this one well yoruba nation are going back exactly what it is exactly what the people are still talking about well my people there's another one reaching us hmm unto this a prophet of god finally reveals our urgent no warning to chief sunday Igboho and the uh, professor banji akintoye and then meanwhile unto this one he has also been able to you know advise the yoruba nation agitators on how they can achieve the yoruba nation movement and this is so serious i think everybody needs to take this seriously well unto this this man of god has said it in fact he prayed for the yoruba nation agitators on this one according to him he had been able to pray that yoruba nation shall succeed and he said something that i actually appreciated that actually sweetened my heart which is the fact that yoruba nation shall definitely be actualized that it shall be actualized the people will get the nation but the problem is the people have to be prayerful and then they need to pray for forgiveness that's so serious right that the yoruba agitators need to pray for forgiveness and then meanwhile according to what he has said immediately i heard that word they have to pray for forgiveness i was not like in what way what actually happened what no what for before they can no get Yoruba nation agitation, no, before Yoruba nation can be actualized, so to say, that they have to be very prayerful. And then this now takes me back to what uh, Professor Banji Akintoye had been saying before now. No, there was a time Prof Professor Akintoye made us understand that the Yoruba nation movement is very easy to be actualized but one thing is that we have to pray for the you no know, for our ancestors for our you no know, the generation that actually you know suffered because of this Yoruba nation that a lot of people died in the process and uh, because of that their blood are crying for vengeance a lot of them died in the sea a lot of them died you no know, during this slavery and the rest of them he says something about those stuff and then this time around the prophet of god now is now telling us the same thing and i think this is a very serious case it's a, it's a serious thing that the yoruba agitators need to take into consideration he said the causes of to which those people released in those days during the slavery period that these the causes that is causing trouble in yoruba land that is why yorubas are suffering that is why the yoruba people are not you no know, in the situation in a kind of you no know, situation they are supposed to be that is why they are not in a better situation right now and that is why the yoruba agitators are not happy that's why you can see killings every day innocent souls are dying on a daily basis and then right now this prophet of god has made it clear that for yoruba nation to be achieved that the yoruba agitators must pray for forgiveness and they he now said that as far as it stands that the enemies are just trying definitely they will keep trying the yorubas will keep will suffer but the truth of the matter is for this suffering not to go for too long for this suffering not to repeat itself for the yoruba people not to enter from fry pan to fire that they have to pray for forgiveness of sin hmm and meanwhile he had made it happen he had made it clear that he had been fasting for days that he had fasted for 100 days before and then you know, god did a lot of things and then he said that this time around he fasted seven days and then seven nights and then with the authority that he has with the true mind that he as a man of god had been praying that the good lord will make your nation to succeed with the fact that he had been very close to god he has been so prayerful that god will make yoruba nation to succeed but with what god had been telling him is that for yoruba nation to be actualized that the people the yoruba agitators this time around needs to come together that they need to come together and pray for forgiveness for the souls of the departed most especially the people who sacrificed their lives during the slavery that their blood is crying for vengeance that is why a lot of atrocities are happening in yoruba land and they also talked about 
the innocent souls that are dying on a daily basis right now in Yoruba land, that their blood too, their blood is crying for vengeance also that if these are not being put into place hmm, that the yoruba people will continue to suffer and uh, he had prayed that you no know, everybody needs to pay pray that god will you no know, make the mega rally a success because the plans to which the enemy have towards this mega rally is a brutal one that everybody needs to be very prayerful and i made mention of you no know, a lot of things that actually sweetened my heart also which is the fact that he said he says if you are a strong muslim try as much as possible to pray very well in your doctrine in your pattern in the pattern that you believe that god will answer your prayer over this mega rally that is coming coming ahead and uh, which the you know agitators have made us understand that this mega rally will come in no time that is very close by and then this time around, I said that everybody needs to be very prayerful. That you should pray concerning this mega rally that it will be peaceful. Though the enemy have their own plans against this Yoruba mega rally, but with the prayers of people, that God will conquer for the people. And then he talked some. He said something. Well, maybe before I go to that aspect, he said if you are a a pastor. That in your pattern you should pray if you are a muslim you should pray in that your pattern very well and then believe in god that this thing you have faith that this thing will come to pass pray that you no know, god will not allow any bad thing to happen to the people on that mega rally day because what he is seeing as a man of god is not something that will be easy but with the prayers of the people by the by the faith of god because god is in the matter already and then god is with the people and i talked about the fact that if you are uh onisheshe that all the onisheshe people the traditionalist that in any form you believe you can pray that make sure you face it squarely and face it pray to god that god will allow peace to reign on that day all right and then meanwhile we also talked about the fact that a lot of people are suffering right now in the country that there is suffering in the land of which you we already know that we should keep begging god yes we should keep begging god because the suffering is too much there had been bloodshed in nigeria there is corruption going on in nigeria weeping in nigeria killings in nigeria and the fraudulent activities going on in nigeria there's no day that you no know, people will not are not crying in yoruba land most especially that all the yoruba people this time around need to pray very well because all these things that are happening it, it will cause a lot of setback for the people and the right now you have said that you no know, all the people or the innocent ones who are dying on a daily basis that their blood is crying for vengeance and then without praying for forgiveness and the cleansing in fact that a lot of things will keep going wrong and we pray that the yoruba land will not enter from fry pan to fire hmm. that's another serious one okay and uh, he has said it that let everybody pray for great protection yes let's pray for god's protection and then that thing i have wanted to talk about is the one he actually talked about which is the fact that that in anything the people want to do that they should take god seriously in that matter that in anything you want to do make sure you know you rely on god's power make sure you as a as a man as an agitator put your trust in god that it is only god that can make it happen it is only god that can make the yoruba nation to be actualized that everybody needs to be very careful this time around that put your trust in god and he said that's exactly what god had you no know, asked him to do and meanwhile he got to a point whereby he started praying 
and then this prayer now led to a stage whereby it did not all go well with some people in that meeting because they were having this meeting prayer meeting and uh, he was not just telling it out the way god had sent him and then he now started praying that let us all pray for the egos at a time immediately he made mention of the egos that the set of people that were there were now like shocked to the extent some of them were not answering amen he was like why are you angry god said that is exactly what God told him that we should pray for the eagles and they know they started saying amen but he now got to another point he said let's begin to pray for the houses that was where you know, some sort of people kept mute when he was praying they did not say amen it was not like you people must say amen simply because we are not praying for full learning it is houses that God said I should pray for because full and knee are not in the picture. Ausa are not problematic. We should understand it very well that God said he should pray for the Yorubas, the Eagles, and the houses. But full and knee, they don't belong, they are not in the picture. So try as much as possible to say amen because god will never see any bad thing and push us into it but god did not tell him to pray for the full anise. and a lot of them were not like okay fine i think he's on point well and then according to the <laughs> prophet of god he said that full anise happens to be the problem we are having right now in this country that is in fact the full anise are the major problem that is making everyone to say we want if we want to go our separate ways and exactly why god will continue to deal with them and then according to this the man of god has said it that yoruba nation shall succeed that the they sh shall be success in it that the declaration will come in no time but the truth of the matter is we need to pray for forgiveness because the souls of the innocent ones that had died during this uh their souls their blood is crying for vengeance and uh, if we do not pray a lot of things will go wrong and then exactly what it is unto this one my people many things have been said yoruba nation no going back and exactly what the people are still talking about all right what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take my people on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless